and Bitter will keep its eyes firmly on the prize on Saturday. Members say that the brass band were was perceived as being geeky, but they know how to have fun. And here's the band in action. <laughs> Ocean Brass is looking for more members, so Sony News now caught up with the musical director to find out more about Saturday's championships. Ocean Brass is uh, one of uh, only a handful of brass bands which are based in the uh, Southampton area, and um, they are a second section band. They uh, have previously been a first section band um, and have been relegated over, over the years. Um, and uh, uh, basically fighting their way back up into the first section. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a doggy dog world <laughs> for, for the brass band. <laughs> We've got the uh, area contest coming up, um, and so you get all the brass bands in that region compete against each other. The winning two bands from, or sometimes three, depending on the size of the section, um, will then go on to the national finals. Um, which, if you watch brass off or any of your um, viewers have watched brass off, that's the ultimate goal: is for the, be in the championship section win um, your area and go to the out Royal Albert Hall um, to play and compete for that very, very large shield. So how competitive is this? I've heard that the brass band world is really competitive. It's, it, it can be extremely competitive. There are there are shades of grey, there always are. Um, the championship section bands can be quite cutthroat. Um, people quite literally fight for their seats sometimes. Um, Playing-wise, you have to be really on top of your game. As you come down through the sections, it's very much like football, where you've got the Championship League, you've got first, second, third, and fourth sections. We currently lie fifth in the second section, um, with the results that have happened from the last two years. Um, those are added together, and you get a point. Basically, if you come first, you get one point, second, two points, etc., going down the line. Now, um, obviously, the, the band with the least points is at the top of the table, um, and we're on 14 points, the band who are up at the top, uh, on 11 points um, and there are actually only six points between the top 10 bands in the section which is quite rare for it to be quite so close um, so it's going to be an absolute bun fight on Saturday. <laughs> In general, um, brass banders uh, are perceived by the outside world to be a little bit on the geeky side. Uh, we are a fraction, um, but there's because of the social aspect of the banding, typically after rehearsal, we'll all go down to the pub and have a few pints um, with each other afterwards and, and have a good laugh. In general, because we're all um, thinking along the same lines and, and, and interest-wise with music, um, there's a lot of humour goes into it. Um, it can get a bit uproarious in the pub after a few points as well, um, and so it, it's it's almost like a sort of a, a rugby um, uh, club type atmosphere with with the with the uh, after concert um, merriment. <laughs> it's it's all still full pelt towards the uh, towards the weekend, so fingers crossed. <laughs> the many years I spent in drafty church halls playing with my local town brass band then I discovered girls. Now last week we heard from the gospel <laughs> <laughs> there we go we got well we got us we got us